Welcome to Geek's Corner. I'm Mr. Daps. I'm Katie. The creature known as the porcupine gets its name from the Latin translation of thorn pig. Ew. <laughs> That's terrible. That was good. Thank you. Actually, it was from a gifted book. Oh! Yeah. Well hey. done. Way to get get your, uh, it's not really your money out of it, but you know. Get your, <laughs> it's not, your, it's not his money at all. Value. Yes. Yeah, good job. And I'm Cameron. Keep going. You should go to uh, thegeekscorner.com if you're not there already watching us, which would be weird if you're not. Can you say um, that in a French accent? You should go to, no, can't. Um, <laughs> nope, can't. Uh, you should use the hashtag geekscorner to go to Twitter uh, and use the hashtag geekscorner. It would have been funny. To use hashtag geekscorner. I mean, I'm still holding out because um, approximately two years ago, you challenged Cameron to do uh, Yoda in a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> and it still hasn't happened that'd be great so, I, I still like this idea yeah, a lot yeah I'm holding out hope because um, I've been waiting it could be a Christmas miracle it could be a holiday special miracle uh huh speaking of the holiday special it's in three weeks I'm oh just our keep... holiday special <laughs> yeah our holiday every special. holiday is special it's, every, that is every, very... every, every... every holiday is special every day is a holiday well, pretty much is now, Every actually. Yeah. Is now. Um, if you'd like to see something happen on said holiday schedule. <laughs> something at <happen>. all. <laughs> well, currently our plan um, is just sit Wait, for we an have, hour. Wait, we have a plan? Oh, it's an hour. It's That's just, right. Is you just sit, uh, just remember? Time. So you just sit for an hour in silence. Um, and the more suggestions, the more blocks we can fill. Um, but right now, yeah, it's currently just uh, 30 blocks of silence. Um, Mike really, blocks? Mike, yeah. Mike really, really wants to see French Yoda. Yeah, here, thank here, French you. Yoda. Thank see French Yoda, not here. No, he said, he said, let me know in the comments, French Mike. Yoda. I, I, see I a little I, tiny mustache. That's all right. All it is. One Mike phrase, on. French Yoda. No, not now. Yeah! You cannot. You've had to... two years to prepare. No, it's not enough time. <laughs> Are you sure? You I'm can sure. talk about Christmas, but not now. What? Hmm. Huh? If somebody wants it as their happy Christmas present, then maybe. But not now. <laughs> Can't open till then. Okay, okay so in three so weeks, it, you're gonna give. Special. You're saying on the Christmas schedule, you're gonna respond to Mike and give him a French Yoda. If he tells me what to say in 280 characters or less, then maybe. I'm pretty sure he can. All right, let us know what you want Yoda to say in a French accent, Mike, and we will we will make Froda? this happen. Fro Yoda? No, that's frozen yogurt Yoda. Gotcha. Yeah. This is French Yoda. Like you know how they have like the Peter Pan ice cream at Magic Kingdom where it's like green and then they put a little feather in it. Yeah. It'd be like if it was green ice cream. Is it Yoda Gall? <laughs> no, that's that's what they do in Sweden across the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> that went from bad to worse, and I loved it. Um, That's while, the kind of quality entertainment you can expect from Geek Corner. Um, while we're talking about Star Wars, let's talk some more about Star Wars: <laughs> Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, we're really talking about Star Wars, but okay. Oh, that was yeah, definitely Star, Star Wars. Wars. You were there. <laughs> you were there, and you were there. So, uh, okay. Destination D. There was a lot of news that came out of it last week, and uh, the first thing was is we finally got names for the attractions in Galaxy's Edge. Three of us. Yeah. I so we have him. we have Millennium Falcon, Enchanted. Smuggler's Run. I'm so excited. And we also have Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. Um, let's start with Rise of the Resistance. What do you think? We got to see a, like a brief I'm so scared. teaser trailer thing about it. Resistance gonna mess them up. Yeah. It's so good. I'm <laughs> so scared. They okay. Day in the life of the First Order. Da -da -da. We're just hanging mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Boom! boom! And that was that was it. Yeah. That's boom boom, huh? Yeah. No, ba boom. Ba -boom okay. Come on. You're, are you ready to fight Kylo Ren? No. No. I think that's part of that attraction. I'm an X-wing pilot. That's not how you fight Kylo. I will. I'm fight pretty sure fighters. if if you're fighting uh, Kylo Ren in X-wing, you're not around anymore. No. My money's on Kylo Ren. Why I'm sorry. would you put your money on him? Yeah. I just I just don't know. Yeah, no, I still put my money on my X-wing skills. I'm, I'm a good pilot. Yeah, so I was Kylo Ren. Let's Rendon see that in the Christmas episode. Take take his terrible lightsaber and go, hey X-wing. No. Well, we have done lightsaber stuff on Geeks Corner before. So are we saying for the Christmas special, it's going to be lightsabers? Hashtag lightsabers. I mean, stuff. don't forget that really awesome 3D effect of the hand getting cut off and flying through the air into the. Anybody remember this? Everyone yeah. gather your kids around. <laughs> 
This is the family. The tale of Christmas. <laughs> Yes, get, it's get it's definitely it's definitely wacky tonight. You're correct. Correct. Uh, we don't know what's going on anymore. Like, uh, so we have little to no control. Yeah. Then there was a Smuggler's Run. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm gonna mm-hmm. cry. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you're gonna cry. Dude, how quickly do you think something's gonna break on that? Real fast. As in the ship? Yeah. Not not <laughs> not in universe Millennium Falcon breaking. What in the world? I um, I don't know. I'm scared. Like like like. Guest in park snapping off a a a, a, a dongle, like I feel like they I had... actually think it's going to be better than we think. Yeah, think yeah, so. like I think I, feel like they, I can't um, wait to press all buttons. That all. seems like something that Katie's going to say. What you feel like? I feel like what? I don't know. You were about to say no, something. I feel like that they made it like they they're expecting that. Like, I feel like <laughs> yes. they're expecting kids and stuff to just Blend go, and, <laughs> and they're expecting me to just. Um, like lose control of my emotions and black out and just and then the so. ship crashes no you guys have to save me if I black out can I tell you something interesting that this preview brought back up from my childhood hmm. um, yes. the, 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 the the handles that are used to go to, yes. Um, yes. to light speed yes. right um, I don't know what this like I guess association thing happened when I was younger but I thought those handles were somehow related to IG-88 the uh, robotic uh uh, bounty hunter that fights along Boba Fett because they have a very similar shape. Like I thought they were similar things. And so you're saying you predicted Solo like 20 years before yeah, it happened. Yeah, he did. You predicted Solo. Ron Howard. Well, Ron Howard's on the show. I guess so. Yes. But like I thought that like they were the same thing. Somehow. I was going droid and into Millennium Falcon. Yes. It, yeah, it's kind of. But IG-88 is the bounty hunter. Yep. And I thought that they sent the bounty hunter because he was part of the Millennium Falcon. That was the connective thing that happened. Yeah. Okay. Weekend. Okay. So I want to I want to touch that when the ride opens up. Um, you know the Star Wars connection I had when I was a kid. Hmm. Nothing. Ha! <laughs> That's right. I just I just thought I would throw that in there. Yeah. Anyway. Well, you had a dog child. I was going to say, reminder, I didn't see Star Wars so, until I turned 18. The third video that came out of Destination D for My Star favorite. Wars was the, the music one. slash glamour shots of Galaxy's Edge video. <laughs> I'm just picturing with those like sparkle side effect things with the glamour shots. They didn't need yeah. the sparkles because <laughs> like it's like, already yes. beautiful. <laughs> the, the glow, yeah. Oh, that's good. And the little mountains had perms. Um, yeah. <laughs> but mm-hmm. they had the cats too. But yes, that video was um, wonderful. Oh my we gosh. should take a moment to look at Twitter where Bailey says, yes, she remembers the lightsaber battle in 3D because that's the basis of her theory that Johnny Five is a Sith. Theory? Theory confirmed. Did we? Well, I thought we confirmed that. I we thought scientific it. research been done. I thought the head cannon was confirmed. It keeps going back and forth. I don't know. We're all just so confused. Yep, it's, it's, it's two days like before Jedi Thanksgiving instead. and... Gray Jedi. Um, <laughs> such a great idea, right? Such a um, gray idea. Great idea. <laughs> Says the girl in Those the gray are sweater. From a long, long time ago. Like, more like a galaxy far away. It's really far away. Far away. Um, <laughs> he hates me. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know where's, where we're going tonight, guys. We were talking about John Elizabeth Williams a moment ago. Yes. Yeah. Um, he wrote a fantastic theme. In fact, I understand there's multiple themes for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. amazing. Um, we've heard one of them. What'd you think? So many horns. It's amazing. Uh, so good. It's just, it's so funny how, like, even if things aren't the traditional Star Wars theme, how you, you know instantly it's know it's yeah. Star Wars. You know mm-hmm. it's a Star Wars. Like, yep. it feels so grand and... <laughs> Uh, spacey, I don't know, space opera y. <laughs> so, it, yeah. of the two attractions, which one are you most looking forward to? I feel like I know this, but we'll see. It's going to be the same answer for Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon! Falcon. 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 <laughs> Alright, so uh, other news that came out of Destination D is Epcot is getting some new shows and experiences um, starting sooner than we'd realized, uh, yeah. uh, starting next year. Um, first off, the um, in, we'll start with France, actually. Um, France is getting a new Beauty and the Beast sing-along, and Don Hahn is going to be helping produce that, and he was obviously the producer behind the animated version and the live-action version. Um, he's he's about as, I feel like, knowledgeable and... Uh, that's like, the person you want for that. He yeah. is. <laughs> there's nobody better than Don Hahn to make a Beauty and the Beast experience, so I think that's really cool. Um, and it sounds like it's going to share the space with um, impressions and... So I don't know if that's going back and forth or what, or if they'll use live actors or who knows. Hmm. Um, what would you like to see for a sing-along? 
I want to see it be different than the Frozen sing-along. Okay. Like, that's... I really don't want it to be like, oh, remember the Frozen sing-along? Well, now it's Beauty and the Beast. Like, I want to see something incredibly different as mm-hmm. an experience. I think they have a lot of opportunities with Be Our Guest to do something that incorporates physical things and visual things. Yeah. That would be very, very um, immersive mm-hmm. and in a very small space. So I think they have a lot of options there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, how long do you think it will be? 12 minutes. Impressions, really? Impressions is 18 minutes? Something like that. I don't know. I feel like it'll be like 22. I think for it being a... I mean, it's going to be a more attractive attraction once it comes out. I think they'll want to keep it a little bit shorter so they can move people through. That's true, because it's also not as big of a theater as you would want for an experience like right. that. Okay. And the waiting area isn't as big as you would want it to be for an experience like that. So I'm also interested to see if the waiting area is going to change in the mm-hmm. slightest. It almost needs to if it's it's, it's going wider. Yeah. Um, Canada is getting a new the third circle of vision. Canada looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, so my question is, is let's assume they're going to have a new host. Mm-hmm. Okay. Justin what, Trudeau. What Canadian host would you like? Is that your choice? Ryan yes. Reynolds. Oh, that would be good, but they never would. They never would. No, they would not. They never would. And I would like William Shatner. Of course you would. Uh, It'd be hilarious. They, they might do that Canada. One. It is, it is cool. just, it's right on that edge of like, it could happen. Yeah, they could do that. It could. Do we want it to? Uh, isn't, uh, what's his name, Jim Parsons from Canada too? No, don't do that. No. Don't. I, think I don't he, like that choice in general. I don't yeah, know no. if he's from I think he'd be say, hilarious. He might be from Canada. Unless he does... Justin Bieber. And No. <laughs> he no. could do it. Celine Dion. It. Um, well, it's been referenced unless, now. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Unless they do an extended version of Man or Muppet into a Canada thing, then Jim Parsons could do it. Am I French or am I in English? Right? Quebec. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Canada? You know. Canada? Because they speak French. You know there? Canadians. Let us know uh, who you think should be the. I I think there's a lot of very good options. Yeah, there are people in Canada, from mm-hmm. what I understand. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. <laughs> one or one or two. <laughs> at least at least seven. No. No. <laughs> at least. Okay. Um, I'm hoping somebody has a name online, but I'm not seeing any yet. So uh, tell us your favorite. Let Canadian. me know if, if any come, Is Maddie. Okay. <laughs> If any Canadian <laughs> names My come proxy. in, um, they're also creating a new uh, nighttime spectacular called Epcot Forever to be their temporary show <laughs> next year. <laughs> 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 I just the kid in the back of the class. There, there are moments where I sometimes think that had to go through meetings, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and they all went, <laughs> "Yeah, do it." I mean, I triple dog dare you. Do you think? Well, I feel okay. So here's what's happened um, in my head. They went, so here's what we're thinking. And they they got an entire like pull down and then they took out their giant um, pointer and they went Epcot forever. And somebody went, hey, didn't we do that for Disneyland 60th? And they went, no one will remember, different coast, Epcot forever. And then everyone stood up and See, and I don't actually care about that. And then to Albert me. Einstein gave him $100. Yeah, wow. <laughs> what a good ending that's for. <laughs> Okay. Um, is that Einstein Canadian? <laughs> he should host O Canada. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Kermit the Frog. Um, <laughs> is not Canadian. No, he is not. Was the jacket made in Canada? You don't know that it wasn't. Um, For all I those don't. swamps in Canada. Uh, they're, sure. I guess my question is why would you have a limited show called Forever? Because they, they have like a big pool of words that Disney uses for things. Yeah. And they just go, Forever. On the flip side, I'm super excited about this show because it's going to talk about the. Oh, yeah, we're slamming on it, but it's still going to be a good it's, show. It's <laughs> like, I actually feel like I'm more excited about this one than the permanent one coming. Yeah. Maybe it's because I know more about it, but, uh, but I think it's going to be great. It sounds like it's going to be based off, like, they haven't said it flat out, but it sounds like Figment's going to be involved. Go ahead. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is probably the best choice. What's he doing now? A lot of things. Art. Oh, wait, he's, he's doing that art. puppet show. Uh, is it Netflix or something? Yeah. HBO. Yeah. HBO? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what like, it is. He has an existential crisis, but Jim, Jim Carrey would be a good choice. That's a that's a great idea. Huh. Um, huh. But yeah, I think that 
with the music and everything. I'm just very there's a lot of potential, and I'm I'm excited about well, it. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's it. it's kind of like Disneyland Forever, where it really is a journey through all sorts of different yeah absolutely um, musical inspirations and and that attraction by, inspirations. Uh, Julie Andrews, yes. No, Figment. It has to be Figment. Figment, Julie Which Andrews. Figment? Yes. <laughs> figment. I don't care. I just want Figment. Um, I, I actually think it probably will have some element of Figment in it, just because the way they worded it was talking about a spark of imagination and growing into fire. You know, I'm like, as long as we that's, can have all, that's, <laughs> as long as we can have all the Sherman brothers, all six of them. Um, you remember? Mike says Drake or Michael Bublé. Drake. <laughs> Michael Bubbles. Um, do you think um, do you think Drake would go circa Degrassi? Would he sing? Like, would he sing Tiny Bubbles during? There's so many good references happening right now. I hope you're all catching them. <laughs> They're very good. All right. Hi, I'm Michael. Um, they recently thawed me out for Christmas, and I had just enough time to film this. So you. then, uh, 2020, <laughs> the permanent new or however long the permanent show is going to be for uh, replacement of Illuminations is going to arrive. It's going to have massive floating set pieces. LED panels, uh, moving fountains, lights, pyrotechnics, and lasers. And free ice cream for every Daps magic. What they Man. didn't say, though, is they is they didn't say um, the flame cauldron things that are around the outside of Illumination. The tiki right? torches? Yeah, the big... The giant The giant torches? torches. Yeah, I love those. That's the, yeah. the best part of Illuminations. Yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. Uh, also, to come out of Destination D, Mickey Mouse has a lot of stuff coming to Disneyland next year. One of them is, what is it? Mickey's Mix Magic, which is a new nighttime show that's coming in January. Yeah. Mickey's Mix Magic. Yep. Think yes. music and projections and lasers. Think dance party. I usually think lasers. Okay, good. We're always thinking lasers. Um, and then uh, Mickey's Sensational Parade's coming back, which we already knew as well. Um, I think that'll be fun. With a new flow. With a new float. With a new float! What I'm do you think so the new float's going to be? Root beer. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking more grape soda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I assume it's replacing the one that Mickey's currently on. I would, I would think that would make a lot of sense. Mickey is, unless somebody else is playing the drums, that'd be really scary. I don't want that to happen. Minnie could play drums. Give me cricket. I think she'd be great. If Minnie was playing the drums, if Minnie was playing, the, you, that's actually a very good point. If Minnie was playing the drums; that'd be amazing. I would lose. I want Minnie my to mind. play. That'd be so good. Minnie to play drums, and Mickey can play keyboards or something. I don't care. Synth, yeah. Synth yeah, synth. like I think that would work because it'd be a nice homage to the original because she had the keyboard on her dress. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining drummer that, Minnie is the best concept ever. Disney, get at us! That's that's so that good. That should be fun. That's I so think it'd be great. That should happen. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Um, moving over to Florida again. Um, Florida. Next year, Mickey's going to have celebrations there, too. Uh, it's a surprise celebration, so don't tell him. Uh, they're going to have a new nighttime cinematic event happening in the skies above uh, of Disney's Hollywood Studios called Wonderful World of Animation. It's yes. going to go through 90 years of Disney animation, so montage of magical Disney happiness. I think it'll be great. Um, they'll have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which sounds like it's opening late fall next year, yeah. um, from what I was picking up from Destination D. Yeah. Um, I love, I think the coolest thing that come, came out of uh, Destination D about this attraction is they're using all practical sound effects. And um, I think I even saw that they're using the original whistle used for Steamboat Willie in the attraction, That's which really is cool. cool for sound effects. That's really cool. Um, Mickey and Minnie surprise celebrations happening in Magic Kingdom Park. They've got the new street party thing. That's mm -hmm. going to be great. Um, and then the cruise line's getting stuff too. Um, and getting a party. Mm -hmm. They're getting a party, and it'll be absolutely fantastic. Um, since we're running out of time, I'm pushing through us a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah. um, we got a closer view of the Disney Skyliner. Mm -hmm. It's going to take you places um, in the sky. So the Skyliner mm -hmm. is vented but not air-conditioned. Is this a problem? It's They're going to be sweatbox in Florida, man. Do you think? I when They, they said it's like cross-ventilated. Yep. To me, that's just windows on both sides, man. Yeah. You can do that with the front door and back door of a house, but if it gets well, above 90, it doesn't help much. With the models that they had at somewhere, somewhere, mm -hmm. um, they have windows on both sides. And I imagine that being that high up in, and I don't know. I just, I actually think it's going to be okay. I think so, because they had to have thought this through because people I are coming in I think the gondola now, company is smart. And... You just don't want to be sit in someone else's sweat. Family of four just getting off of Splash Mountain in over 100 degree weather. <laughs> like, it's going to be damp and warm. Uh, I, mm, 
I we will mean, see. I, I just I feel like for this type of investment and the fact that they're um I don't know. I feel like they're probably smart. And they brought in, from what I understand, a really, uh, like, one of the... the top gondola experts. No, a transportation expert. Yeah. And I'm sure... So I want there to be a gondola expert. I'm sure they did that, too, but... I'm sure it was thought through. For now, I'm just concerned. Hmm? And I'll continue to be concerned. I'm excited. I think there's going to be great pictures coming from there. Oh, yeah. oh That's definitely. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, Let's see. Let's was that's pretty much the big highlights from um, from Destination D. But it looked really cool. Um, they had a lot of really fun moments uh, with with um, Brett Iwen, who is here, and uh, Bill Farmer, and they did some script stuff and some unscripted moments too. It looked like that looked really fun. Yeah. And um, I think everybody needs to go to this next time. And oh, definitely. That would be great. Um, the other fun thing that happened this weekend was uh, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse celebrated their 90th birthday. We were at Disneyland to celebrate that, and they had a, a cute little cavalcade with um, a bunch of characters. Very cute. And a special moment with uh, Walt Disney talking about Mickey Mouse, and they sang Happy Birthday to him. And um, what you? What was your favorite part of it? Um, I really enjoyed all the characters. We got to see a lot of friends that we don't get to see so often, mm -hmm. and it was just it was just magical. Mm -hmm. Like. Also, the Walt Disney Park kind of made me teary-eyed. That's fine. That's fine. You weren't the only one, though. Well, like, no. There were there were other people that said the same thing as you yeah. did. Yeah. Well, I had... It was like, single tear. Cool. We're moving on. Like, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. There were people full out sobbing. And I don't blame them. Like, it was very... It was that good? It was fun. Like, it was... And when you think about how much, like, the impact Mickey's had, Mickey and Minnie, it was just it's magical. Isn't it interesting, too, that... Walt loses Oswald in the spring. Mickey Mouse is already in theaters in Steamboat Willie in November. Yeah. Like, think of how fast. I don't think any company can go that fast now. No. no. Can you imagine them throwing together a, what is it, four minute short? I don't remember how long it is. But all hand drawn. All hand drawn in less than. Oh, and <clears throat> add to that the revolutionary aspect of being one of the first cartoons to be motion synced with audio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, new new complete and they'd format. already yeah. done plain crazy yeah yeah like that's that's pretty ridiculous and that's awesome um so happy birthday mickey and minnie and um, Pete. <clears throat> mm -hmm. true. that is and that is Pete. also true it's true is there something you want to say Under your thumb, that's all that was a <laughs> <laughs> okay that was good um also captain marvel is coming to <gasps> disney california adventure and you lead off on this. He's gonna be beautiful. I we were talking about this earlier. We're very interested to see what suit incarnation she's in. Because there's a lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. And all of them are great choices. We imagine it'll be the movie one. But I'm very I don't know how, there might be more than one in the movie. I'm suspecting. That's true. Like, That's true. I almost guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. I'd imagine. Well, I think I some of the footage we've seen kind of implies that there's the really cool like hooded one that has a mohawk thing that I really really like. And there's also like the Captain more Mohawk. Captain Mohawk. Um, <laughs> and there's also like the, the more classic like red and blue one with the star. And then there's the uniform that comes from Marvell, who is also in this film. Mm -hmm. um, it, there's a lot of options yeah. here friends. Um, I think all of them are cool. Yeah. I'm curious to see how Captain Marvel fits into the park universe. Yeah. You know what I want to know about this movie? What? Is Lola going to be in the movie? That's that's an Agents of Shield thing, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah, I, I knew that. The car. I knew that. It's yeah, it's because that would be it's it's Agent Coulson's it's car. Basically, uh, it's it's the gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm There's just. There's gonna curious. be a nod to it, and like Mr. Depp's gonna squeak from the back of the theater. It'll be great. No, I'd probably go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd just be a. <laughs> that's yeah, that, it'd be bad. Yeah. Um, also. We found out uh, officially today the concept art of the Spider-Man attraction Spider is, Spider is real and it's verified and Marvel is promoting it. and um, Promoting it to attraction. That's true. Uh, but it's a Spider-Man attraction and uh, what did you guys think of the piece of, of art? <laughs> the piece of work. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking, yeah. but you know. Uh, 
I mean, how do you miss with something Spider-Man? Like, it's it's not... Well... I, I mean, it's been done before. Don't get me wrong. I remember Tobey Maguire dancing down the street. But... <laughs> <laughs> he started out so good. He did. He did. The first movie I loved. And then they added Eddie Brock and not enough Venom. Um... So that's a complete side note. Let's the concept, yeah, yeah, the concept anyway. design for Venom in Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire was actually really good. I agree. Nobody talks about that enough. That is they true. Criminally underused him and yep. then put him on the worst representation of Eddie Brock we have seen in film. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, my soapbox is Anyway, over. back to the attraction. Um, I think it's going to be wonderful. Um, I think it's going to feed a lot more into the... It's similar to what they're doing with Star Wars Land, the the kind of zeitgeist of the area. I bet there's going to be a lot of carryover elements into that area of the park, just from the way it's designed and the way they're pushing it in. So. And I think it's going to make Guardians look a whole lot more, more, sense. Yeah. more at home. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Um, I think it's really interesting, especially with the Stark industries open house thing that we're mm -hmm. seeing no i think that's really cool i'm very interested in the story of the land so story. here's what i'm thinking is you show up for a demonstration and they have this big laser gun and then we're all spider-man no you get zapped and you get really small and then spider-man comes and saves you and then you're in bugs land no i just had this thought of honey i shrunk the audience as oh, I, was I was looking at the, the building min the minions ride from universal that ride made me sick yeah that's not a, that's not no a no i was thinking friends. honey i shrunk the audience but go ahead uh no uh, but i'm just i'm very interested to see how the story plays out because obviously stark industries is a very huge part of the superhero campus because that's what all of the construction walls are saying and they paid for it well, pay for it. <laughs> uh, Stark pays for most things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really interested to see how it fits in and then how the story is going to fit in with the Tavon collection mm -hmm. with Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I think there's a. Turns out he paid for that too. Of course he did. He was like, hey, it's in space. Yeah, um, put it there. The only thing he didn't pay for would be the Wakandan embassy, and that's going to be way I was thinking that'd else. be on the other side. Yeah. I actually. Can you imagine just the embassy of Wakanda just being there? That'd be, amazing. That'd be the coolest thing that'd ever. I just had that thought. Now, write it down that write was down. that was actually where i was going Maddie, next is like down. write that down i feel like you have to go that direction yeah i i just think that there's a really cool opportunity for flow and store because right when bugs land was still there there was a huge disconnect between bugs land and hollywood backlot where mm -hmm. um guardian started mm -hmm. and so i think that there is a huge opportunity for there to be a more cohesive storytelling and i'm very excited to see the way it plays out thematically I agree. Um, I think it's going to be great, and I'm actually liking how it's looking, and, and yeah. I love how um, modern it looks, but also timeless modern, so I think it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, we got a question from Mike. Which will dominate the box offices for the winter holiday season, Mary Poppins Returns or Aquaman? Mary Poppins Returns. Mary I agree. Poppins Returns, yeah. Um, I think Aquaman's going to do as well as Wonder Woman, certainly better than most of the things that have come out from DC. Yeah. Uh, but... No, nah, the power of the Disney hammer is coming down strong. I was going to say, I think Mary that Poppins Mary Poppins, Poppins Returns I'm hearing, is just a I'm hearing best feature film for the Oscar for this one. Even like, if it wasn't, they were going to make hand over fist money. Like with it, this, but. this one might be, yeah, this one could be the return to Disney former glory that we never imagined was missing. I'm very interested to see what happens. Yeah, I am too. Um, final thing for tonight. Woo! You thought I was going to forget, didn't you? Well, I was worried. Here we go. You can talk about it. Wow! We have a <laughs> calendar. It's Did magical. You... It's a touch screen. Yeah. Yep. So you... <laughs> um, it's uh, made up of staff photos. Paper. Paper and mm -hmm. ink. Uh, it's made of staff photos from those of us that Daps Magic. We all submitted. We all voted. Um, can I give a sneaky peeky? Yeah, show one. I'm going to show July. Okay. Why July? Um, because that's Disneyland's birthday. That is true. Mm, yeah, I'm going to show July. Okay, she's thinking hard about this. I am. ha -cha! Isn't that so beautiful? Ooh, ah. That was a photo taken while waiting for the Disneyland Resort All-American College Band. That will be um, making their return. Next which year. we do have news. They started auditions. Auditions are all going to be live this year. There's no, um, There's no YouTube video submission, submission yeah. this year. And uh, we found out that the director will be a music director from, from Disneyland. Yeah. Hmm. Who we know? We don't know. We don't know. But yes. But and we do so, know it'll be a music director, so that's good. So say you don't remember when Canada Day is. Guess what? We got you covered. There's Canada Day. 
Say you don't remember when Shanghai Disneyland R Resort anniversary is. We got you covered on that too, buddy. Where can so, they find it? Um, you can find it on dashmagic.com slash shop. Very good. All right, Cameron. you can Cameron. find other things too. Get us out of here. We're going to go to thegeekscorner.com. <laughs> That's thegeekscorner.com. Uh, you we can go there. there at any time to watch our faces 24-7 if you feel so inclined. You really shouldn't, but maybe try it. It might take you like four days to watch through all of our It's been it. done. It has oh. confirmed. Uh, you could also go to dapsmagic.com. Check out really cool things like stickers and calendars and also all the Disney and Geek News as it happens. And you can find out how to become a Dapps Magic Maker. And while you're at it, come on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our videos. We're trying to get up. Eight. We're getting up a lot of videos, aren't we? And uh, we're, we're becoming a video powerhouse Woo! or something. I don't know. But, and uh, vlogs. Yeah, and vlogs. And you can check out uh, all the Disneyland videos. We've got some Knott's Berry Farm videos. We've got some Fat Cat Swinger videos. In fact, keep your eye on the website because we've got a um, review going up the next day or so of their new album that will be coming out on Thanksgiving Day. It's fantastic. I've been listening to it nonstop for the last week. And uh, you will love it. So make sure to go to their website and check it out once you read my review to make sure you like it. But that's all the time we have for you this week. So we will see you around the corner. Bye.